Are we still happy? Um, no, because our wallet is officially empty down to the last roofie. Well, yeah. what else are you gonna use it <laughs> there for? There is that. There's not that much to buy in this game, honestly. I think you can fill it in right now, other than one last thing to get some last unlockables in the game. There's literally nothing else to use money on. Well, at least the game doesn't make you collect larger wallets for its tiny amount of things to buy. Uh, this is also true. <laughs> the hammer <laughs> is not very good in this game. It's more powerful than your rocket sword, but holy crap, that hitbox! <laughs> I think it works slightly better when not aiming upward, because you at least get a little more height to work with. <laughs> it's much easier to hit with in Link Between Worlds, for the record. Good to know, good to know. Oh yes, this tree always drops the full magic, so if you ever need some, there you go. <laughs> nice. Also, I'm very bad at picking up rocks sometimes. So welcome to the other half of the Dark World, which was sealed off to us from various green rocks. There's a lot of trees that don't like you very much. <laughs> I forgot that you could talk to them. That is a cranky tree. Yeah, and that's the thing, they say quit dashing around, but if you even walk into their nose, it still springs out and fires a bomb, so screw them. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they're allergic to you. Okay, they, they're have... sneezing bombs. We have one rupee to our name. <laughs> so welcome to this awful-looking town. This town is fantastic, though, if your wallet happens to be empty, because this game just loves to shower you in rupees. Well, it is the Thieves' Town. It makes sense that there's random money everywhere. This is a point. Let me just walk into- let, let me just blow off your door and walk into your home, steal all your rupees, and destroy your pot. Stealing money and, like, protecting your own money from being stolen are two entirely different skill sets. <laughs> Lang is very good at the stealing portion, also shop music! Gotta love that shop music. Gotta love that basic it is shield. Good music. Basic shield for 50 <laughs> rupees in case you lose it somewhere. What do they tell you if you try to buy a shield when you already have one? Uh, I might decide to sign that later. <laughs> they probably don't have a lot to say about it. Especially if you try to buy a lower level one than you have. Yeah, no kidding. That would be very silly. Well, you know, in case we haven't... Pff, I'm very good at doys. <laughs> in case we haven't stolen enough yet, any treasure chest that's just laying around these nice-looking houses is just free for the taking. Check out that painting of Mario. Jeez. So we had zero rupees a, few, a couple of minutes ago. Well, that changed. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go spend some. <laughs> so here we have another minigame that has a random chance of doing a hard piece. Oh, great. Ah, yes. I can't wait <laughs> for this to not be sped up at all for some reason. Well, okay, there we go. Then. Well, <laughs> that happened. <laughs> well, that's, that's a nice change of pace. <laughs> fast me just kind of looks at the treasure chest, chest questioningly. It's like, did, did I don't think you were expecting it to be that fast. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, was, was that what okay, pull the fork! And so, I love that Link goes soaring backwards, rolling, by the way. <laughs> Does the game tell oh you to pull god, the fork? Oh my god, this isn't the third dungeon, your sequence breaking! I know, this is the fourth dungeon, but god dang it, it's just easier to do this one first. <laughs> Wait, did you say that this is the fourth dungeon, or the fork dungeon? Eh? Eh? Oh. Eh? Oh. <laughs> Man. So, you know how we got the items, like, super duper fast in the Desert Palace way back when? Um. Uh, We're sure, gonna do yeah. that again, aren't we? Even faster! See, here's the compass. We've already got the map. We already have the map. And if we come on over here, we get the big key! What? <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> They're just gonna lay it around. Also, beware of the yellow sparklies of doom. They will turn you back into a bunny, albeit temporarily. Yep. <laughs> Not even the moon pearl can save you now. They don't do any damage, though, so if I get hit by one of those at one point, I don't care. <laughs> well, obviously they make you not able to attack, and you can still take damage from other things. Yeah, that bomb wall over there is useless, by the way. It just leaves you to a couple of pots. You need the big key to even start this dungeon. This, this dungeon's really small. It's uncharacteristic for a Dark World dungeon. This dungeon's kind of yeah. weird in general. Hey, guys. We're, um, we're in the boss room, by the way. As 
pointing to by our compass. Oh. This is the boss room. Hey, no, that that skull is just there because this room we're missing is like something. old and dusty and abandoned. There's like a skeleton in the corner or something. I, I tried to do my victory dance to see if that finished the dungeon, but it didn't. So yeah, we're missing a boss. We have to go find our boss. <laughs> the boss is a totally actually in that room and invisible. But, but we need to go find our boss. He they're on a coffee break right now. We need to go tell them that break time's over. I came to their dungeon first. <laughs> Man. For all the waiting and around, so they do. you think the bosses, bosses would be office. more... <laughs> oh dear. This room... So this, so this room's kind of room. nasty, so I, I just don't want anything to do with that enemy fairy. Hey, you did the thing I said. Uh, it does work. Thanks for the advice, by the way. That's been very helpful in today's recording session. <laughs> there are a lot of those in the way. I seriously never knew that. Yeah, I didn't either, and there's a lot of times where that helps. There's, there's been a number of dungeons today where that's just been very, very useful, because those things are in very obnoxious positions. This, this section is obsessed Whoa. with pen mills. <laughs> yeah, I almost walked directly into that fire, because past me has that habit. <laughs> What's the correlation between thieves and treadmills? I, I don't know, but here we have more of the most annoying sound uh, in the world. They have to practice exercising so that they can run fast. Oh, that's true. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay, or they can get, or they can just get the Pegasus boots. It's the Sahara Desert. Or is it? You or see, maybe it's Zelda. I don't, I don't know. My brain is infected with two different people right now, so it's hard to say which one it is until you click the panel. There we go. Ah, uh, it's Zelda. Never mind. Don't be deceived by the magic of blind the thief. Be careful. Okay, my big advice <laughs> corner is gone. Have you are wrong! <laughs> so, we actually do need to hit this switch in order to proceed anywhere up there, so, you know, my aim is better, question mark? <laughs> you got I it got... on the way back, good enough. This game has taught us that pulling the long pulling the wrong lever usually results in snakes. These ones had skulls on their heads. And so, once again, the question must be asked, why do we even have that lever? Why does it have to be snakes? <laughs> well, it's a thieves sign out. It kind of makes sense. They're, like, snakes in some way. It's so, metaphorical. Currently, we're directly over top of the boss room. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. They even give you bombs, and there's a big old crack, and there's a big old mm. light in the... Hmm. Now, here's the fun mm. part. This and is you the missed. first point in the game. This is the first point in the game where you actually have to throw a bomb. And it's not terribly obvious. <laughs> you, <have> to... <laughs> you actually have to press the A button to pick up the bomb when it's placed on the ground by using the Y button. It's confusing, but yeah. It's also the only place in the entire game where you actually have to throw the bomb, so. Okay. It's really easy to just not know what to do there if you've never had to do it before. Hmm. I guess if you haven't really played much Zelda, you might not know that you can throw bombs. <laughs> Fast Beast is like, good enough! <laughs> Work with what you have. I, I like it when I get them all locked back behind there again, but you know, that was easy enough to do, so whatever. These enemies always look really weird to me. It's yeah. Kind of strange. The, the, the core things are weird too. Also, this. Uh, are they horses? Are they dragons? I have no idea. <laughs> this dungeon causes a lot of slowdown. Are they dinosaurs? Maybe they're somewhere in between all of those things. So there's no point in going back to the boss room yet. We still haven't physically found our boss. We just put light in the room. So continue onward to find the boss to put it back in its room. <laughs> that is a suspiciously <laughs> large block, by the way. It's a suspiciously large block, but you can pick it up with the power gloves. It's huge! <laughs> and there's another one. How about no bouncy thing? By the way, this room is useless. Oh man, check out those bumpers. This place does remind me a lot of the Desert Palace, but with the <coughs> trap rooms, they're just enemies and they're really quick items. Yeah. 
And the conveyor belts are functionally similar to quicksand, I suppose. It's true. Kinda, yeah. Though, this place isn't really near the desert. And then I remembered I forgot to actually get the keys. <laughs> well, you have the big key. Oh, Surely no. that's the only key you need, right? You just jam it in every lock. Now about that, so you see, look how small that lock is. Uh-huh. It's key a big key works. lock. <laughs> yep. Big key has varying sizes to it, but only certain locks it'll work on. Ah, bunny thing under a pot! <laughs> it wants you to be a bunny! No! Here we have a lady, but we don't care about her, we just want the key that's in her room. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> she can leave on her own. Yeah, I mean, I open the door, she can walk out. I mean, all those monsters aren't gonna get in the way. Doors! <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I mean, of course you, you, of course you want her to leave on, leave on her own, because otherwise you'll have to do an escort quest, and she'll get in the way, and you'll accidentally kill her or yeah. something. And you have a good point. And so the the similarities to the, the desert palace remain over the Titans. Now, if you get trapped over there, you're not actually stuck. You can rebound off of one of the stone walls, so you can just fly over the pits. <laughs> So it's not the greatest of traps, you would say. Okay, lady, come here. At least the escorts are smart about this and will keep up with you when using your Pegasus boots. <laughs> there is that. That works. Hey, who put this thing back in our way? I, I don't know, but it's really so serves no purpose. <laughs> These yeah, are no. very diligent about dungeon upkeep. Hey, if you notice, this just looks exactly like one of the maidens, so I guess she didn't get crystallized, so she broke out of it, so we'll just... We'll just take her into the That's room That's not where suspicious she at all. I mean, here, I mean, she belongs in the boss room, so let's put her in there. Oh, wait! <laughs> what oh, happens if that. you actually try to take her out of the dungeon, though? She says it's too bright outside for her to go out. Please keep her inside. That's odd. <laughs> After asking it... you to take her outside. Man, it's too bright out. I'm gonna stay in this dungeon longer. So this boss is a pain in the ass in all forms, even whether you're doing a no-damage run or not. Yeah. Because, um, this thing's hitbox, you can only hurt it on the head, but its entire body will count as hurting you. And it also has more than one head, but only one It also one has of more counts. than one head. <laughs> oh, oh man. god, this got so nuts! Yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. Baby, slow down! <laughs> slow down is a lifesaver here, by the way. Legend of Zelda bullet hell going on here. <laughs> so if that thing is called Blind the Thief, right? Why does it have a tr attack where it tracks where you are and shoots a laser? To be fair, the laser's not very accurate most of the time. <laughs> well, at least it knows where it's shooting with that one attack. It It's certainly intimidating. Well, at least we rescued the real maiden now. Wait, that came from above. We were already up above the boss room. Where was that, st what, was that lodged into the ceiling or something? Maybe. <laughs> it was stuck in that floor that you bombed. Yeah, this dungeon was kind of weird. The boss pretty much was 100% of the outtakes, and there was quite a few, but, uh... Yeah, the, the rest of the dungeon was really short and easy and really, really easy. Yeah. <laughs> but this That's series okay. doesn't have outtakes, so there. Yep, I can just let people know <laughs> that it took something like 25 attempts. Ouch. Well, 